In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to get double edge pressure, essentially turning the 3-3-5 wide defense into a very similar defense to that of the 2-4-5 double A gap. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel, and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21, and one of the ways that we do that is through posting videos on YouTube every single day that are designed to give you something to think about, some strategies, some tactics that you can utilize to be more effective. Now if you have not subscribed yet, it is completely free to subscribe, and I would highly encourage you to to do so because that way you're going to know whenever we release a new video you're going to be able to know um, so that you don't miss anything right we upload a lot of videos here on the channel and so it's very possible that if you if you don't subscribe or you don't have the notifications on you'll miss something that might be very very important so i want to encourage you to subscribe um, secondly before we get too far into this video i did want to talk to you a little bit about the defense so i am going to be talking today about a strategy that you can use out of the 335 wide formation in madden 21. now i actually have a full ebook on the 335 wide defense i believe that 335 wide is the best defense in the game it allows you to play zone defense man defense as well as match coverage um, and it also allows you some very creative ways to blitz the quarterback and it also has great run defense so um, just all around the best defense in the game and so i wrote an entire ebook on it that you can get it's in the description and it's just 15 bucks so you know it's a great way to support the channel allows me to keep doing these videos and it also is a great way to help you become a better madden player so if you're really looking to take your defense to the next level i'd highly encourage you to consider picking that ebook up and if you have any questions about anything you see in today's video my number is in the top left hand corner of your screen all right, guys, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you a blitz out of the Mike Blitz O. We're going to basically turn this into mid blitz. And the way that we're going to do so, i got to change one thing in my coaching adjustments, um, is what we're going to do is we're going to put mana line on. You could also put this on default, but I like to have mana line on when I do this defense um, because of the fact that it's a heavy pressure defense and I want to make sure that my alignment is where I want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to audible into Mike Blitz O. And immediately the first step I want to do is I want to grab this left side safety, especially if I'm facing trips tight end. I want to grab the safety that's on the running back. From that, pers from that point, then all I'm going to do next is I'm going to globally blitz all of my linebackers. And then I'm just going to press coverage until the linebacker goes into the A-gap. And I'm going to use her right here. Okay, this is really important. Now what I like to do is I like to go ahead and crash my line out. And obviously, uh, I'm just going to, essentially, this is basically mid-blitz, right? I'm going to come down. I'm going to draw the lineman's attention. And then you're going to see that we're going to get relatively, you should get double-edge pressure from this. So, simple, well, come down. And as you can see there, we get a guy off the edge. Now, one of the ways that you can also help your pressure, especially if you're looking to get that double-edge pressure, is if you spread your line. Okay, so there's there's some if we spread our line, we crash our line out, and we're gonna again we're gonna be kind of hovering right in here. This is where we want to be. You could even be like right here, I think, uh, and make this effective. But again, just come down, and there you see that double edge pressure. The beauty of this defense, and one of the things that's a little bit different than the three three five wide, in my opinion, is this defense gets on you like super 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 fast. Now, if you wanted to, you could pinch your whole defense. The one problem with that is, as you can see, the linebacker doesn't always, um, you know, he doesn't he doesn't always go down. So that's the one issue when you just try to pinch your defense because you, you have to have this linebacker in the gap. If you don't have this linebacker down here, um, you know, it's it is what it is. But you'll see here. I mean, now we're gonna have two people over the center, and you only have you only you're only gonna be able to get one person free because you didn't have the gap integrity that you can create from a look like this right here which is where we want to bring this guy down and then we could even like pinch the line if we wanted to um pinch the line crash it out kind of stand like right in here and then go down into the right you know you see there there's that double edge pressure once again so this allows you to have some like really unique looks at the front of the line of scrimmage so we'll show it to you again and again all we're doing is we're just globally blitzing the linebackers 
and then we're going to press coverage, shade inside and underneath so we get really good man coverage. And then from there, you could do a couple different things, right? I mean, one of the other things that you could do is you could shift your line to the right. This is probably one of my favorite things to do is I'll shift my line to the right and I'll kind of stand like right here. This allows it to be very good against the run. And the snap of the ball, I'm just going to run to the left. And as you see, I mean, super fast double edge pressure, super, super fast double edge pressure. So let's say that they block the running back and they block the tight end out of trips tight end, right? Very uncommon for somebody to do that. But if they do that, um, then that's going to create, again, different looks. Now, whichever side the running the, the, the left side guy goes, you would just go to the opposite side. So like right here, because the linebacker goes into the right A gap, we're going to shift and go to the left A gap. And as you can see, we can stand right here. But what I like about this defense is you actually get better run support because you can stand right in that little window right there. Now, there, that time they had really good pass protection. One of the one of the things you have to understand when you're running this is based on alignment and based on all of those things is really where you want to use her. Um, obviously, right here, for example, so if we're trying to get the pressure to come in off the left side, you know, we're, you know, we've, we've got to make sure that we're playing, paying a little bit of attention to that. So if you look at the bottom here, um, you know, you see here, I can kind of, depending on the, on the look here, you see that I can kind of still grab the attention of the left side tackle. So my plan here, literally run left. And as you'll see here, the pressure will come in. So the beauty of this defense is the fact that you can blitz and it will come in against a blocked running back, right? Madden 21 is a five-out game. It's a five-out meta. And so because of that, um, when you have a pressure like this right here, and you can, I mean, you can come right in here and literally turn it into mid-blitz, but you'll see. I mean, you're going to get pressure, um, you know, even with the blocked running back. That's the beauty of it. And, yes, you can do this from zone coverage. So let's say they're running zone coverage. And the beauty of this is you've created a look that is really um, – you know, very similar to man coverage. So on the left side here, I mean, you've got pretty much everything taken away. The only thing that I would do is I would play hard flats right in here, just like this right here. So now you've taken away the little quick routes. And then now all you've got to do is just get back on the tight end. So you come down and then you're just getting back on the tight end. And as you can see, you got pretty decent coverage. And obviously you can adjust it. You know, one of my favorite ways to do this defense is to use cover four, um, use the cover four quarters defense because you see here, I mean, everybody's in a really good position. I mean, there's not really, you know, everybody's in a really, really, really good position um, to be able to be very effective against, you know, anything that they really offer. All we have to do is deal with the running back quick flat. So as you can see right there, you know, very effective coverages that you can run and you can do this from really any play, literally any play in three, three, five wide. You can literally, I can audible to cover two man globally blitz all my linebackers press coverage twice. And then I just shift my D-line to the opposite side at which they come down. So if they come down on the right, then I shift them to the left. And as you'll see here, instant double-edge pressure right off the edge, very fast and very effective. So these are really good defenses for if they block a running back. If they don't block a running back, then all you got to do is run the one-man pressure. So, for example, let's say they don't block a running back, okay, and you still want to run this defense. What I would do, they don't, they're not blocking a running back, okay, that's fine, then all I got to do is if the running back goes out on a route, I just go guard him. Literally just go guard him. You're still getting the pressure. You're still getting the pressure. So very, very good defense. It's like a – it's you know, again, you don't want to run this every play. And and the beauty of this is let's say that you – oh, let's, let's say that you run um, the Mike Blitz 3, right? Let's say you do that. So you blitz on linebackers. You see they're all going to come down. And now you're going to bluff them. So now, now you're now you're gonna bluff them. So you bring your guy down here just like this, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up a coverage defense, um, just something like this right here. You know, maybe you have some cross man going, but this is a two man blitz now, right? And you have relatively good coverage, and you're just playing coverage, you know, and and it's it's hard to disguise and beat this. And the beauty of this is you can do this. Like one of my favorite defenses to do this against, hundred percent, is the cover four quarters, right? 100% this is one of my favorite defenses. So literally all I'm going to do is I'm going to put both of the outside linebackers in seam flats. I'm going to drop that middle linebacker into man coverage on anyone that I want. Whoever it is that I want to guard, I'm going to put him in man coverage on. And then we're going to drop a three wreck. And then we're going to drop a vertical hook on that left side. And this is quarters coverage. This is literally quarters coverage. You're basically the inside quarter on the right. 
And that's it. And then voila. I mean, you've taken away some of the most popular concepts. Any corner route is going to be bagged on both sides. So this is a very, very effective defense is, is all I'm saying. And um, there's a lot that you can do with it. There's a lot of flexibility that you have in it. One of my fit, one of the last things I'll say is the Mike Blitz uh, zero look um, is really, really effective for max coverage. And what I mean by that is you're literally just going to take the middle linebacker, drop him into the deep blue zone. And then you're going to drop two seam flats on the outside. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to man up with one of my defensive linemen on the running back. And now you see here, we're in the meta man-to-man -man coverage, just like we can do from every other thing out of the 245. So you, the reason I'm saying all this is this is 245 double A gap with better personnel. This is 245 double A gap with in my opinion, some better tools um, in terms of the alignment of the formation is a lot better, in my opinion. So, anyways, all that to say, I just think that this defense is absolutely incredible. Here's how to send pressure from it. Here's how to disguise it and look like max coverage. But if you want to get the full defensive ebook and literally go through all of the secrets, all of the tools, all of the strategies, all of the methods that you can use to really make this defense incredible and unbelievably effective, that link is in the description of this video. So I want to thank you for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed it. And again, the defense is just 15 bucks, And literally, it will change how you play defense. 100% guaranteed. We have taken people who have never gotten a stop in their life. They couldn't even sniff a stop on defense. And now they're consistently um, stopping very, very good Madden players. So uh, I just wanted to let you know, if you haven't picked up the ebook yet, I would highly encourage you to do so. That link is available in the description. If you're sitting there and you're saying, well, you know, that's great, but I just still don't know if this is the ebook for me. Go ahead and text me. I have a free sample. I have a free one hour sample of this video. Um, now it's only available to those people who have texted in. So if you wouldn't mind just shooting me a text message and just say, pull out your phone right now. My number is 812-216-3644 and just say, hey, Cody, I'm looking for a 335 wide sample. It takes five seconds. And uh, once I see the message pop up on my end, then I will go ahead and shoot it to you. Sometimes it takes me a little bit because I do get a lot of text messages, but just know I will get to you uh, eventually. So thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you on tonight's stream. And again, if you want to get that ebook, it's available for you in the description.